Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighter's League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Lamplighter's League blind playthrough. It is time for the next uh, week and I did all of the level ups behind the scenes. We got ourselves on another search mission, potentially for the last tower uh, fragment and a few resource missions and really it's more of the same story. I think after week mid-10, so 15 or something, the progress of the house is just sped up enormously. I could set back Nicastro by one, but at the same time Marteau and Strum together would gain five advantage and we're not making any progress. So really what I decided is we're sprinting uh, towards uh, the finish line which means another tower mission just to make sure that Nicastro is not hitting the next um, break point. And I hope that by giving the others a few break points they will take over more of the world and therefore Nicastro naturally stops making progress. <coughs> Elsewise I don't 100% know how to deal with uh, the massive progress of the house. We still need to get three more towers and one more element. I think we're looking fine, but I might be wrong. So another mission with four agents. And I think the last time we really had a lot of extra equipment stored. So let's, give, let's use three sp uh, slots in order to uh, and collect extra equipment. Um, I've upgraded uh, poor Nima, so she's now going to uh, be having a few more tricks up her sleeve, mainly one more ammunition, but also slowly but surely getting to, uh, to that point uh, where she gets uh, even more resets when she hit, um, resets of ability points when she hits mark targets and that would be uh, helpful because we need to reduce the cooldown of kill shot so that we can continuously kill shot. Eddie on the other hand finally got his upgrade of his uh, weapon and has now a significantly increased um, crit chance. Unfortunately they don't show your crit and he's coming in at 41 points of normal damage so I assume crits would be around the 62 mark. Let's see how well he's doing. Alright, <coughs> we landed. Let's give uh, this here a good go. We need to get a few fragments for the tower. Oh, for once a few enemies that we can kill. Sucker punch, that, me uh, that is. One more off the board. Got this one. Okay. Cute. You're the only one left, dude. And somehow he still managed uh, to survive that. Very good. You and you. Can help you. Us with this. Enemies remaining one. Good, Eddie, come on. You got this, right? Right? Got you dead in my sights. Very good. Of course, Eddie got it. Come on, y'all. Stress flask two. Well, seems like something we will need what later we when we're having a different uh, team comp. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so there is a way down, and there seems to be a way up here. Let's stick with the way up here. Stand by. This should buy you some time. Scanning. I'll take point. Good, let's hide all the way back here. Fantastic. These guys are alarmed now. I wonder how long does it take for them to no longer be alarmed? Okay, that now they say nothing here. Okay, no longer alarmed. We definitely want to kill a few of them before anything serious happens. Shall we? Two, three. No, 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 no. I want to make sure that uh, they are standing together. Onward. Sleep well. Very good. Wow, that was good. Three for one, super valuable. Good, so we killed five. Skeletons can be killed, but not by electricity. Ghosts cannot be killed. Ghost is now alarming the others. Oh, oh, another, another set of enemies. They should cause some trouble. Yeah, not a good time to freeze up. I don't like how unoptimized uh, the gaming code is. Can, I think I can take this guy solo. Hey, what's that over there? Nice.
Okay, no, we cannot take him solo. There are still enemies back there. Couple of skeletons. What do we have left? This always works. Except when it don't. Good. We're mostly out. Good. Well, we got it down to six enemies, which, uh, considering that we killed, like, what? Three plus three, that's six, plus two plus two, ten, uh, means we reduced it from sixteen to six. That's respectable. One, two, three, four. Very good. Let's We can do it. Start with getting inspired. Let's continue with you gaining more AP. And I think so, you gaining even you more AP here. Really do. That's a good How use of like one AP. Land? Fabulous. And let's begin with hitting things down uh, we got another ghost over there okay we can do it together more damage which means you should be able to deal really I'm lots of damage fantastic 183. That's good. That was your last chance. One down. This guy is not yet dead, which means Eddie can soften him up and Y'all taking notes on this? Kill uh, the remains, which is good. I regret that it came to this. We're first going to put you out. Then we're uh, hitting this guy because that could reset our cooldowns. Isn't that a lovely yep, there you sight. go. Then we're hitting this guy. I am tired of your face. Cooldowns are reset again. That's a hit. 
and a setup for a stick and move kill. You've linked. There you go. More cooldown reduction, fantastic. Moves to here, and guess what? Take this guy out. So that's pretty damn impressive. Out of uh, six enemies, there's only one that could theoretically do something. Four are dead, two are... no, three are dead. Yeah, he's not on the ground, which I don't like, so the only proper way you of getting him uh, down is kicking him on the ground. Because now, this is so much easier, 100% hit chance. Very good. Oh, this team is so strong. Overwatch and Overwatch. No <coughs> Let the skeleton come. Going somewhere? What do y'all say we get around when we're done here? Good. Zero oh, damage taken. That was good. But we also used all of our out of combat abilities, so. <clears throat> Granted, that was a lot of enemies. Stay put. Need a second. Suspicious. Stand still. Muhahaha. <laughs> we found you. Okay, lots of evasion. You know who has absolutely zero problem with anyone Run evading hill, anything? Boys. Eddie because he's just taking the evasion off. <clears throat> Marks everyone, fantastic. Eddie. Don't stop now. You and Ingrid get the extra AP. We can make it out of this. We're buffing everyone. And we're reducing our cooldowns. Fantastic. Hundred sixty six. Eddie, you're a beast. the dust good no major fancy resets this time
glass jar. Look at you, Swarder. But we got everybody under control, so that's fine, I suppose. More damage, more cooldown reduction. I like our odds a bit better now. Poor ghost can't even get up. His dazed would take two easily. actions in order to get up, only has one. Good. That's sorted. Good. Last time that we took some of uh, these stones, there was a huge fight, I'm so. How about we're getting ready if that is happening again? The keystone burns to the touch. Oh, my God. Is that an angel or? One, two, three. Dance? Oh yeah, they all want to dance. Two of them are dazed. Fantastic. Keep going. We can beat them. All right, Eddie. This thing still has a lot of armor. Didn't have to go this way. Good, one down. That's what you get. The other one on the ground. Fantastic. Poor Nima. Regains a kill shot. Regains an IP. And... Another shot. Somehow, armor shredding doesn't really stick that well on them. I'm getting good at this. to worry about good two of them immediately down third one I think can't even get up yep like I mentioned can't even get up well, not quite the adventure I was imagining darlings but it will have to do let's make tracks Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ingrid. Ingrid who? Ingrid in your face. A souvenir. Good. Another Got card. another mode of fate. Fantastic. Don't wander. Easy peasy. 
We killed 16 enemies and then another four and another three. And we're really still in, in a very good condition. There's still a construction zone to go. I can use this. But point being, we haven't even used ultimates. But maybe now is the time where I'm going to regret that because there are a lot of enemies. Listen, everybody gets their charges back. I think hope. there was a signature charge expended by Eddie. We're taking second wind and a few close. extra charges for our non-combat abilities. We're the ones that I like the least. This will get their attention. I think this. Well, and this. This is going to be nicey. Eddie starts. And Eddie could start with hitting all of these guys, or he just starts with light them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mark Days Dazed. Can we hit both of them? No. Well, Ghost is not as important. See, now you done pissed me off! Good, Eddie. Can continue his reign of terror for a little bit longer. Time to light him up. <laughs> okay. All right. Three or three. Either way is fine. I think this here isn't bad. So, you want to see what I can really do? Yeah, I want to see what you can really do. Go! 
God, I love this job. Good Ingrid and her infamous cleanup. Let me help. Cooldown reduction and that guy is set up to be killed. One. Don't carry on so. Two. See you later, buddy. You couldn't keep up. Three. Extra speed. Four. You're in my way. Um We can use that next turn. Come on. Which is going to evade because the ghost is the only thing that could theoretically do anything. Better luck next time. Eddie. That's okay. I don't want him to take of opportunity. One, two, three. He's just unhinged, completely out of control. Ghost is knocked down, can't do anything. We're moving up. Our dance is done. Moving up further. And Ingrid is not giving this guy I'm a break. Not here to play games. Show him what for. Tell he was close to death. You can see it in the eyes. Gosh, we dominated that. I must say, Eddie, what a monster. What an absolute legend. Away. You go down again. And whilst you're down. That we'll continue to, to hit you. Well done, old fellow. Moves over. Eddie moves over. And poor Nima moves over. From being the hounds to the fox, haven't we?
All right, now is the perfect time Underestimate me. for a triple knockdown. You. Boom, boom, boom. Showing off your muscles. If we live long enough, you can teach me all about fighting. And knock this guy down. Let's part ways. Good. That is not only a hundred percent hit chance on every single one of uh, them, but also a perfect setup to kill them. Okay, how about we're starting over here? Winged him at least. This guy isn't even getting up. Wow. Eddie continues to dominate. His crits make it so that he really seems to be never running out of ammo. You took your eye off the prize. Yeah, so much for the reinforcements. To use XCOM terminology, it looks like they landed on a Templar with Fortress and Bladestorm with their reinforcements. There. Is everyone okay? Marvelous shot. Okay, was it worth? Yeah, I can use this. Uh, doing this well. Thirty supplies isn't bad. Can't get further up here. Is there anything else hidden? An ether or maybe a, a mode card. Yeah, we could have just ran to the exit, I suppose. Mine now. Cheers. Couple of frag grenades. Well, I guess we got some loot out of it and uh, thirty supplies. Not the end of. Uh, and that's one step not the end of the world to fight for that. Okay, got another keystone. Come on, give me good cards. That's the opposite of good cards. It feels like the more agents we got, the less good the cards became. Now this we can act on. A keystone. We're that much closer to the day my agents set foot in the tower. A fruitful trip, I see. And that's the last Excellent tower, right? Work. We can use this. Hmm. Which crossroad beacon? 
Nicastro, hopefully, because we could use that. A third keystone. Oh yeah, everybody should a doom clock uh, process reduced. No strum. The Castro doesn't make any progress this time, which is good. So we could do that. Oh, another agent. Uh, sure. I hope it's worth the time. Do whatever it takes. I mean, look, we could re reset a lot of Strum's progress. But the main problem is Nicastro. And this will still exist, so if Strum is so somewhere here, we can still pr uh, reset the progress. I think this here is our next, sh or should be our next target. Castro is doing something in Australia and there's not even a mission. Hmm. Yeah, we're we're going to do the last heist setup because then we can do Strum's heist and Motto's Persephonite and the Castro's nectar are in our possession. Then Only that Strum's here will be red done. Sulfur remains. And we got three keystones, it seems. It's also why he mentioned the third keystone, right? Which means we only need one more keystone. Right here. Okay, at least we got a plan for the next time. Still got some skill points. And Eddie, I think, is fully unlocked. short of the weapon Anna Sophia is fully unlocked uh, which brings us to Purnima the one skill that I definitely want is stalker attacks against marked enemies reduce kill shot by one so that's good and Purnima's invisible speed is increased Marks all enemies in an area up to 15 tiles away. And this here is not bad. Upon receiving a buff, Pronima games 1 AP. And we're very regularly buffing her. So that's a free further AP. Let's get that. And although I don't want lockdown, uh, it's only two skill points and it increases the overall damage and some bonus hit points for good measure. It warms the heart to help you. Speaking about her, let's pocket this item and this. And this item. Good, that's the end of today's episode, guys. We are going to continue the next time with a heist preparation. It's looking very decent so far. We're making our progress for the first time. So let's see if we can keep up the good pace. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Lamplighters League, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.